So hi, Cancer. We're in that last week of August 2022, and that will be from the 21st through to the 31st. And right off the hop, you're getting that from fulfillment. Uh, emotional relationships are thriving. You're establishing human connections. You're living according to your spirituality. It talks about a family vacation, possibly a celebration of sorts. And that could be a birthday, a christening, a bar mitzvah, whatever it may be. It could also be um, a celebration of life also. Now, it does talk about your family helping you with a circumstance or a situation that's taking place, perhaps even helping you move. So perhaps helping you load a truck or unload a truck or sort out your furniture, whatever it may be. It might have to do with a move. Um, it also talks about you having a sense of empowerment and belonging. Okay, You feel like you found your, your clan, your connection, and you like to be part of that group. It's like they feed your inner energy. So indeed, this is positive for you. And this is what you've been vying for all along. The first, second, and third weeks were kind of tense, okay? And you weren't really sure who to, who to trust and who to believe, and you were having kind of like divided loyalties there. Well, now you're finding your balance in your life, and you're finding your belonging, okay? Now, it does talk about your connection to a clan or a group is being solidified and perhaps even membership in a group of people that have the same belief system. It does talk about someone possibly taking charge of a situation for you, maybe a formulation of a new relationship, a new marriage, a new family. It might even be a blended family, okay? But indeed, they're uh, providing you with that sense of belonging and empowerment in a group. Now, in the middle couple of days of uh, the last week of August, okay, the card you have talks about you needing to find balance. But the first card was basically saying that you found it. Well, you you found your balance personally. But now it talks about you having to make lifestyle adjustments. So let's say you've moved somewhere and you find you found a place where you belong, where you feel like you have a sense of uh, belonging, okay? But you have to adjust the things in your life so that you do continue to thrive in this environment. There's always a, um, a time of transition, okay, a time of adjustment when you go from one situation to another. And indeed, this is what is taking place in your life in the middle part of that last week. Now, it talks about you making informed choices. It talks about uh, looking at your needs and the needs of other and others and trying to compromise or find a balance in those um, relationships okay now it does talk about a need for education so perhaps you're going to have to learn or relearn something it does talk about justice so it talks about legalities that may be taking place and they're going to look in your favor so indeed if you've applied for a job you're going to get that job if you are requesting help from a court if you have um, become involved in a law case you are going to win that case okay so indeed these are positive things that are coming into your life in the month of um in the month of August, in that last week. Now, it also talks, in the last couple of days of that last week, it talks about there being a little bit of skirmishes, okay? And along with a period of readjustment and uh, refocusing on different things in your life as you're moving forward, perhaps you're gonna have people that are kind of stepping up to the plate and saying, listen, I don't agree with that, okay? And so you're gonna have to deal with these. Now, it talks about possibly being in competition with fellow workers or maybe even friends or family members, okay? It, it talks about somebody in your life who is basically seething with resentment. They disagree with something that you've done or you've said or you've enacted, okay? Now, it does talk about you being attracted to certain groups in this last week, but you still feel like you're a bit of a loner. And Cancer, for some reason, it feels like you don't feel like you fit in. It's almost like you feel uncomfortable putting yourself out there and joining with new people and new um new projects or new endeavors that you're getting into. You might even, I, possibly you've joined a fitness group or you've joined a Tai Chi group or you're taking yoga or meditation and you feel kind of shy at showing your maybe lack of skill in an area. Well, know that everybody starts somewhere, okay? And indeed, these things are going to benefit you, benefit your health, your mind, body, and spirit, it says. Now, it does talk about not wanting to deal with other people and their rhetoric not wanting to put up with their beliefs and their ways of doing things, okay? Now, 
just to keep the peace, you listen to the point of view, but you di you disagree inherently. You disagree, but you're keeping it to yourself because you know what? You couldn't be bothered. You couldn't be bothered. You have learned as you've gone through this month of August. You have learned how to limit your stress, and part of limiting your stress is not taking on somebody else's issues or learning how to compromise or learning how to balance uh, the give and take in relationships. So indeed, you've got it going on in this last week, you're moving forward, and the positivity that comes with living in harmony in your environment is going to help you heal in wondrous ways. So take care, Cancer, and indeed, if you had any health issues, I indeed hope that you're healing from them. So I shall see you in September. Namaste.